Right, welcome back to my channel. Now, I'm actually filming this intro on New Year's Eve, but by the time this video goes out now, we're going to be in the new year because I'm going to do it in, in parts and then add it all together and then show you. So, uh, I've recently posted my recent make and, uh, and you might have seen it already. And I have made the So House 7 Toaster Sweater version 2. Now, when I bought this pattern, there it is, there's a line drawing, and that's the version I've made. Now, when I bought this pattern, it was actually version one that attracted me um, to it. Uh, I didn't think I'd like this loose style because I like quite fitted things. But I ordered some fabric from Guthrie and Garney and it was um, an interlock jersey. It was a medium weight. It had 40% two-way stretch. But when I read the description of it after it arrived on the website, it said it was suitable for tops. And I phoned up Guthrie and Garney and they said, yeah, it's a really a top kind of thing. You, and what it is, I wanted to make the hoods and pants with it. And they said, you can make the hoods and pants with it. They'll be more like a lounge kind of pant, not, you know, not the kind you wear out. And I don't even know if I'm going to wear the hoods and pants out of the house. They might be a lounge thing anyway, but I just thought, you know what? I want to make something, make them something suitable, something that's got the right recovery. So I thought, well, what shall I make? Well, my first thoughts were... I could make a t-shirt for my husband with that Jaylee pattern I showed you. But then I decided, no, it was going to be a bit too thick, I think, for the t-shirt. If I was making him the long sleeve version, it would have been okay. But he's not really a long sleeve person type of kind of guy. Well, so I thought. I've since, after I'd cut the fabric out, I've since spoken to him. He said the reason he doesn't like long sleeves is because he says they're always too short on, on him. So actually, I could have made him a long sleeve. But never mind, I'd already cut it out and I've got a lovely top out of it. So I went on to make this. And the reason I went for this one is because I, I thought, well, it's really like drapey and flowy. And I thought it's going to really suit that. And I hadn't got a clue if it was going to suit me, but I just decided to go ahead and make it anyway. And I'm so glad I did because it is so nice. It looks a little bit like 60s and I don't feel really drowned in it. Now, looking at the sizes, it says I made the extra small and it says the bust is 31 to 32. I actually measure at a 34, but the ease in it... Um, it was going to be 39 inches. So I thought, you know what, I know, because I measure up quite small on my arms and things. And then going by the um, the waist measurement, my waist measurement fell into the extra small anyway. And my hip measurement is actually smaller than the extra small. So I didn't really want to go with my actual bust measurement and make the small, because I thought it's going to be too big. And I knew this fabric had 40% stretch, so I thought it was going to be okay. And I'm absolutely delighted with the size that I chose. Um, it, the uh, neck is a very different construction to any knit garment I've made before. All the ones, most of the ones I've made have had a, a, a band, a neck band. I've had one uh, occasion when I made this, Tilly and the Burton's cocoa dress and you just turn that over this was basically the same really you're turning it over but you're turning it over quite a substantial amount actually so the thickness of the collar you're getting that thickness again and you're kind of stitching that in with the sleeve and things it's very different to what I've done before and I've never made um like it ha you can't really see it on this drawing here but it's got like a split hem at the side so you have to do a bit of pivoting now the reason I went straight into making this is I thought it'd be really good for using my new cover stitch machine I had for Christmas however when I got to the stage I needed to do all the top stitching for the hem and the sleeve I hadn't actually done got it out the box and I wanted to do an unboxing so I just got a bit eager so I just got my twin needle out and, and I did it and actually the twin needle I realised after that I used wasn't for um, stretch fabric fabrics it's for woven but it worked okay so I'm not going to complain and you know I'm really delighted with it so I'll pop some photographs up on the screen if I haven't done that already 
and um, yeah, I'm re like obviously I bought it for the joggy bottoms, but I didn't really think about how much the colour would look next to my face. But I'm actually very pleased with the the colour of it actually, and um, and you know what? And I would make it again. And I hadn't looked at anybody else's versions of these um, on the internet because I wasn't really interested in it. But I've clicked on the hashtag now, and I think no matter no matter what shape or size you are, it looks fab. I didn't see a bad one. It looks so nice. Um, so anyway, I would like to go on and make the version that I intended to make, the version one. Now, if you've watched a recent video, you will know that I won some fabric and it's only a metre. I've measured, I've kind of roughly measured it. It was folded and things and tried to put it along this cutting mat here that only measures up to 57 centimetres. And it looks a smidgen over a metre. But you can't really get all that much out of a metre. You can, I think if you was making a knit vest top or a little top, you can. But this fabric is very snuggly. So it screams jumper. I don't think you'd want to make anything else but a jumper. Now, most jumpers, you're going to need about a metre and a half. And actually, what I didn't mention with this, I'd only bought one metre forty. So I had to make the sleeves a bit shorter, um, which I didn't mind too much because her sleeves are quite short. But she does look like she's pulled them up a bit. But yeah, so um, my sleeves were shorter than the pattern was supposed to be because I just literally didn't have enough fabric. So for version one, um, I don't think you need as much fabric as you do with version two. I'll just have a look what um, the requirements are if it jumps out. Yes, it's jumping out at me. So for the smaller sizes, you need, oh, you need a little bit more. You need 1.6 metres. For the small sizes in the version 2, you need 1.5, but obviously I had 1.4 and shorten the sleeves. But I don't want to shorten the sleeve on this one. Um, I knew you need 1.6 metre for the extra small and small. So, yeah, this is what I'm thinking. So I think I'll make the extra small again. But what I thought I'd do is um, I've got some fabric left over from I can't remember how much I bought of this. Um, it from the Astoria sweater. Do you remember that jumper? I absolutely loved. And it looks uh, this appears to be a loop back jersey. I think I got it from Minerva, but I'm not entirely sure. It could have been. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm guessing. But um, it's got a, it's a loop back. And it's kind of like um, medium weight again, not sweatshirt, but not a really lightweight. So again, similar to that interlock I've just used, but the back is different. It on that interlock it looks like knit fabric on the front and the back but this looks like a loop back do you know like when you knit and you have a, a knit side and the pearl side when you do a stockinette stitch you have the bumpy side and the side that looks like the v's it looks like that so i've got i don't know how much of this i've got left but it does look like i've got quite a bit so i don't know if i ordered three meters of it and and now I've got this that I won from uh, by Graziella. I think that's how you say it, fabrics. So what I'm thinking of doing is maybe for you know for the centre bit, doing that in the fabric I won. Um, maybe the the pink fabric for the neckband and the waistband. Uh, and then I don't know what to do with the sleeve. Shall I? Maybe do the print in the sleeve and then do the pink here. Or maybe do the pink here and then do the the pattern sleeve. So, you know, I'd love to know what you think. But the trouble is, my plan was to make this jumper um, before uh, I released this. So I can show you what I was thinking and then the finished article. So... I'll have to have a think about it and make the decision on my own. So that's all I think I want to show you at the moment. And yeah, and that, that's it at the moment. And I'll be back maybe when I've made something. Okay, so thank you so much for watching so far. And I'll see you in the next bit. Bye. 
Happy New Year! So now it's officially New Year. It's actually Saturday the 2nd of January. Um, I actually got a little bit confused because we kind of sometimes have um, takeaways on certain nights and things. And um, we had a pizza uh, delivered last night. And because um, we were feeling a little bit tired yesterday because we did have a bit of a drink for New Year's Eve. And uh, we, we sometimes will have a pizza on a Sunday. Um, but because uh, we had a pizza yesterday, I convinced myself it was Monday today. And it's Saturday, so I'm a little bit confused. So, yeah, my head's all over the place with the days of the week. And I'm trying to get back to my regular wash my hair on the days that I want to wash it on. But I was all a bit thrown out with uh, Christmas days and in the hairdresser and things. It's all, yeah, I'm all a bit all over the place, really. Um, I've had been having a bit of a sort out this morning. I've, um, I've moved my uh, singer machine uh, into um, the kitchen slash conservatory and put it on my dresser. But it's right next to that dining table. So if I want to use it, I can get it out. The intention... Sorry about that. I don't know where that cut off. Um... My eldest son just called me, asking me if I've been to the co-op yet. So, uh, is, that, is that camera? It's dropped down a little bit and we lift it up. He said, if I've been to the shop yet, and I said, I'm going in a minute. So, I haven't got long. So, oh gosh, I wish I'd bought a drink in here now. I didn't bring a drink in because I didn't think I was going to be long. So, I'm just giving you a little bit of an update what's going on. Regarding the cover stitch machine, I haven't used it again yet, but I have learnt a little bit more about it. Now, if you watched my last video, you'll have seen when I got to the end of my stitching, I wasn't sure how you finish off. So, I just lifted up the presser foot and turned the hand wheel towards me. And I just turned the handwheel just to release the threads and pulled it out the back and just snipped it. But I have found out now what you do. So that bit was right. You are meant to raise the needles. You are meant to lift the presser foot. But what you do is you pull the threads, the three threads towards you. You get something, pull them towards you. Then, uh, then you get your fabric, ease your fabric out of the back. It will bring the threads with it. And then as you do that, the looper thread actually pulls the three threads to the back of the work. Then you snip your looper thread and then you have a choice on how you want to tie it off. But I will do a demonstration on that for you. Um, what I'll do is I'll angle the camera. I think what I was trying to tell you before I had a phone call then, um, it's funny how it works now you get a phone call from your family. He's probably down in the garden room, maybe that's why he's calling. But uh, I need one of those things, uh, you know, you know a f what is it, not a foghorn. Uh, oh, what's that thing you shout through? It's like a big thing. I could do with one of those, couldn't I? Or a bell, a school bell. I'd love that. You know, dinner's ready. <laughs> so anyway, um, what was I saying? So the intention was I was going to bring the cover stitch machine in here, but I've ended up putting a load of stuff on there. So whether it will stay on the dining table i don't know because we and i've just been giving people stuff to eat on the uh, on the island anyway when i last filmed i was talking about making the toaster sweater and i wanted to use the fabric that i've won because you know when you've won something I, you do feel obliged don't you to try and use it quickly well i do anyway well i don't not that i normally win anything but uh like i used to win things um i used to subscribe to love knit and crochet magazine and gosh i was i literally used to make make something every magazine that came and be really quick and post photographs and i used to win competitions all the time but i mean this is like an instagram one that i won this from um Gra by graziella fabrics if that's how you say it but what i was going to do because there isn't enough to make whole jumper well i presume there isn't until i've sorted the pattern pieces out i don't know but I was going to team it up with this, but I've decided I don't really like them together. So I've decided to scrap that idea. So I don't know what I'm doing with that now. Uh, but I've decided my next project is going to be the Tilly and the Buttons Billy. So I'm going to trace out all my pattern pieces when I get the chance. And um, and the, one of the other reasons I want to do it, my overlocker is actually loaded with dark thread. I think it's black thread. And I just thought, well, while it's black, 
um, I'll do that because I think it was navy what I was intending to make the billy with. So that's my next dressmaking make. Um, things I'm doing uh, aside from this, I have started a little bit of red work and I'm keeping that in a little suitcase, a little red spotty suitcase in the garden room. So if I sit down there, I'm going to work on that. And it's the Mandy Shaw heart that I got from um, the final day of the calendar. Well, actually, I found something out, actually. I went on Mandy's website the other day onto the advent calendar login. And actually, the sweet peas um, you were meant to open on Christmas Day, there just wasn't a 25 sticker on it. So um, I only found that out when I logged on to there because somebody was asking me a question about one of the things I received and I couldn't remember who the seller was. So I went back on Mandy's website to find out who it was. But Mandy or team have now deleted some of the earlier days. So you could only see from day 16 up to day 25. They've been knocking off the earlier ones. So you can't look back on them, unfortunately. So I couldn't actually ask, answer the question I was asked. Not without going back and watching all of my vlogmas and, and, and finding out, because I don't remember what day I got it, so I'd have to watch my own vlogmas to find out. So, which I'm not planning on doing anyway, not any time soon anyway. Maybe, maybe in years to come I might have a little look back on there and things. So, yes, yeah, so, um, so there's that going on, the red whip. However, it's quite a slow burner because I haven't actually had much time sitting down there really and some evenings we've decided not even to go down there we've just stayed in the house it's, we've been that late having dinner and we've just ended up going upstairs so it's just the way it works out sometimes isn't it so um another thing that i'm doing is now you may remember me saying um after i knitted my little halloween creepy crew that i really wanted to do a little bit of christmas knitting but then my son had his operation so i ended up letting him choose something and I knitted this quite substantial owl which was quite a lot of work uh, and I also crocheted stick man uh, where is he he's here he's sitting here now a little sewing room mascot and and he was on the telly the other day actually and um and I crocheted a sprout which I gave to my son so I didn't end up getting any more sprouts done. So I didn't end up getting the little knitted things done that I wanted to. Now, I probably won't get them all done now, but I did say I'm going to try and get them done over the Christmas period. Because obviously, you know, the Christmas, you know, I suppose, supposedly it's like 12 days, isn't it? So today is the ninth day of Christmas. Uh, what is that? Nine ladies dancing, isn't it? So, uh, so yes. Yeah, so I thought, well, I'll do a bit of knitting. So I have been knitting a little mouse. And there's four mice. And the ones that I really like the most is a little angel and a little skier. Uh, so I've actually, um, I've knitted the head of the mouse the other side of Christmas Day. So I've continued and I've nearly knitted all the little pieces for the little skier mouse. I've just got to do uh, a second ear and a tail and then I've got to piece all the pieces together. But I am going to need some little um, chopsticks, which, not chopsticks, toothpicks, which I might have. I'm gonna check before I go out to the co-op. And two coffee stirrers, which I don't think I've got, but co-op has um, a Costa stand in the store. So I might take a couple of stirrers. I might have to buy a coffee in there so I can have a couple of stirrers. And you use those for his skis and the little toothpicks to hold in his hands. So I'd really love to get him finished because you're supposed to hang them on the tree. And obviously my tree is going to still be up, isn't it, for a few days as we're on day nine. So we've got day 10, 11 and 12. So I think I could get him finished later, actually, and hang him on my tree and take a nice photograph of him um i don't know then will i make the angel i, I don't know uh i was thinking well, shall i carry on should i do it next christmas but i think my intention is this um there's actually a few things i'd really like to knit for next christmas so i think i might work on those throughout the year anyway and um and I'll, I'll probably do my partridge in a pear tree, try and do one of those a month. Because I think it worked out and I've got about 10 left to do. So try and do those one a month. And just and, uh, and obviously I'll probably do a little bit of red work. But I'm not going to take on 
anything new i think anything i've got planned in my head little hand things realistically don't get buying anything new i think i've got enough to be getting on with throughout the year uh set you know i've got to set my heart to it i've got two quilts that, that i could work on because i i did my one block of um a nautical quilt and then i did all the red work blocks did my for a christmas quilt because that's so that's some quilting projects i can work on this year and obviously there's lots and lots of dressmaking i want to do so that's where i'm at at the moment uh i did want to show you a couple of things that have come through the post i ordered this some time ago um a chaco i think i see a chaco liner and it's basically a blue chalk pen and I find things that you can mark fabric really useful. I, I don't know who I ordered that from, but I ordered it so long ago, I forgot now. But that has arrived. Uh, oh, I got it from So Pro Crafts. I might have got it through Amazon, actually. But it had, they must be an Amazon seller, so So Pro Crafts. And apparently they're on facebook and instagram so i'm going to look them up actually um i've got some pins from um six penny memories and they're little uh spools on top of them oh actually that's reminded me when i was doing my cover stitch video i kept on calling the threads stitches for some reason when i watched it back i thought what on earth was i saying so sometimes when i was saying the word stitches i was meaning thread so sorry about that confusion but you know you get yourself in a pickle sometimes don't you well i certainly do anyway i should have corrected it i should have checked it before and put it on the screen i suppose but never mind um so anyway so i've got those pins i don't know how can you actually see those They've got little spools of thread on the top. I just, I'm a bit of a sucker. I'm a sucker for anything crafty. Hello. Oh, I'm sticking out. Oh, where are you going? To something. All right, I'm nipping out now. I'm just about to say goodbye and then I'm going. Oh, okay. All right, where are you okay. going? Oh, what? Oh, Unless right. you, we want to, I'll come with you and we'll do it together. Can do, yeah. Yeah, all right okay. then, okay. Two secs. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um... There's never a dull moment. So the other thing that arrived. Now, do you remember me telling you I get um, a couple of magazines digitally? And this is one of them, Love Sewing. And there was a pattern that was in it, but I just couldn't seem to get the pattern. So I ordered the print. That has come today. So it's the moment of truth. I'm going to open this now to see, did I get it? The pattern that I wanted to make for my mum. I don't think my mum's watched my video because she hasn't mentioned the pattern that I want to make for. She didn't say she liked it or didn't like it. So you get that one. It's in it. It's in there. So that is what I'd love to make for my mum. I think it's that, not the shorts version. I would probably make... The long version, possibly the short sleeves, but I'll speak to my mum and see what she likes. Those are the line drawings on the back. So I'll have a chat with my mum, see what she thinks. Obviously, I can't keep it a big secret because I haven't got my mum's measurements. So I'd like to measure her and because it's size is 8 to 22, so it's good size range. Um, so, yeah, so that would be nice. To, I've, I'm just trying to see if I can see what the measurements, what bust measurement to smallest to largest but it, it doesn't it's not jumping out at me but um but when i know a bit, bit more about this pattern i'll let you know so yeah so that's what's going on at the moment i'm going to be making the billy i'm doing a bit of knitting i'm doing a bit of red work when i'm down there and 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 you know i'm just plodding on so i hope you've enjoyed that today uh, i might actually post this video now and then you you know and then do it a future one so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye